Hello everybody. Thank you for joining us this fine day. Today we'll be learning how to draw an elbow. So we are showing this from a particular angle. So I'm not showing a bent elbow, but I'm showing a straight elbow. So an elbow from, uh, let's say from the back of the arm because we have to look at it. So it makes sense to show it from the back of the arm. So I'll need an arc like that or a straight line will do, a small circle, an arc and perhaps a little oval here for the hand. So I'm going to choose an arm that is just uh, developed enough to allow some uh, elbow to peak in the sense that when it's a developed arm it brings out every feature not just the, the muscular tone but every feature so elbow perhaps gets compressed like around uh, from the top and the bottom for with each little flex but so we're going to explore So we are doing a conventional, so a generic sketch of an elbow. So of course I have to show a little tone around the elbow to get some compression going there. So details just like that. So I have a U shape here, you know, for the horseshoe for the triceps and I'm putting in some skin folds here. I'm putting in skin fold here and I'm putting in some muscular structure as I said around here and that is the hand so and again seen from the back so our, our, our exercise was not to put a hand in but I'm just going to throw in a quick something so that this thing does not look Awkward enough so there we are so we got the hand out of the way so now let's say we have a light source coming in from the top it would of course mean that any areas that are away from the light are highlighted but the arm is circular in pretty much all its aspects pretty much like the, the muscular structure each like muscle group except for the flatter and here just below the horseshoe but it will also be partly in shade because well there is uh, it is away from the light in this case so right here I'm putting in some tones around the elbow area into the elbow area actually into the into the skin folds and now elbows again just like pretty much the rest of the human anatomy are different they also differ person to person really the that's because of the composition of the arm how developed it is how how much stretch there is in it how long it is, how short it is and according to that you can define a particular elbow but that is the that's one idea of getting around to an elbow do check some images out on Google and I'm sure you'll find similar images won't be too much different and then, of course, you could model some sketches on uh, an actual hand or an arm, sorry, in this case. Thank you for watching. Please do let us have your comments. Do subscribe. Keep in touch. Have yourself a wonderful day.